Sorry for the harsh light, but it is so beautiful out here in Buenos Aires. I'm gonna do a bit of filming out here on the deck because I need to get through some of the daily updates. It is the 5th of September, 2024, and this is my daily life. So uh, I'm Scott Allen Miller, and uh, today we're here in Buenos Aires. Still, we're, we're most of the way through our trip at this point, but we still have several days left to go. Uh, today I went out, sorry, we're very tired. Like we're both very under the weather, so that's been really hitting us hard. I went out and did a bit of walking this morning. I did the walking through a couple neighborhoods of Palermo, got a bit of exercise, explored a bit of area, did a bunch of filming, so that was very good. Uh, found the Japanese gardens, we're planning on heading there tomorrow. Dominica's gonna go with me and we're gonna try to film a bit of that. That's gonna be a little bit hard to get into uh, just because it's very busy, um, but hoping to, all right, the GoPro 11 failed on me once again and hopefully all is well now. So went out and did, a, did all this walking four or five miles. Got stopped again by the police saying I can't, you know, there was public sidewalks on main roads that I couldn't film on, absolutely crazy. Uh, I asked, oh, is there an embassy here? They're like, no, the embassy's not, like, they had no explanation for why I couldn't do it there. Now, the place where I was later on a tour, one, let us film there. So a tour, actually, we had been on the tour previously as well, and you could film the exact spot. You could bring big cameras, take lots of pictures, but if you're on the sidewalk, in the public sidewalk, they don't let you film, but they bring the tourists there with cameras every 15 minutes. So weird. So it's both places that I've been stopped by the police and told I can't film are places that the city themselves officially bring people as tourists and have an unlimited camera. You can have the biggest camera, the most expensive gear, telephoto lenses, no problem. But if you're just a normal person walking around with a GoPro or something on the sidewalk, no, can't can't take pictures there. It's very strange. Um, and they wouldn't explain what the building was. On the tour, they claimed it was the embassy. But when I was there, they said, no, this is not an embassy. Uh, so very weird. But the US flag is flying on the building. But they didn't complain about me filming there. They complained about me filming on the public sidewalk against the road. Uh, so. Yeah, definitely. It is a different world down here than I'm used to. <laughs> but um, I did that, did a bunch of walking, came back, uh, and then we decided we were going to go out. We had the bus, the, the yellow bus that I was talking of, uh, for two days. So since we have the tickets to that, we've already paid for it, we decided to ride it again. This time I filmed from the other side of the bus, which is pretty practical. The tour, it doesn't seem possible. When I'm filming on it, it feels like we're on for maybe an hour. But in reality, the bus goes for a little over three hours, I think. So we rode for a long time. Uh, by the time we like headed to the bus, we did get lunch first. We got a little, little bit to eat. Uh, and then we went out, caught the bus, and that took three hours of bus, 6.30, we were freezing. When I started, it was pretty nice, and right now it's gorgeous. I'm recording this on the 6th, but when we got uh, about halfway, the sun went down, it got super cold, and we just, we couldn't finish the route. It was too cold, uh, but I filmed quite a bit. Uh, went, got off the bus, got a quick dinner, there, uh, right where the bus dropped us off. Unfortunately, the place wasn't very good at all. The food was terrible. Uh, ju just no flavor at all. The place was... So far, we've had really good luck in cafes here and like little vegan restaurants. We're getting really good food. And Romero, Ro Romario's had just amazing food. But in general, when we were, we're having a really tough time finding good food going out for like meals. Now we're going out at the wrong times. You know, when you're just vacationing, it's tough to adjust to the local schedule. So that's making it a little bit tougher. Argentinians have a tendency to, you know, make reservations at well-known places. We don't know where to go. Just walking around and discovering a place is pretty difficult. Uh, we're staying in an area that doesn't have a lot of restaurants. There's a lot of things working against us. But so far, when we've tried restaurants in the evening in general, we're not being super impressed. The menus sound really interesting uh, if we can get past all the places that are just loaded with meat but the actual quality of the food for the most part has been kind of eh. We ordered in some local pizza. It was quite bad. We uh, you know went out to a little bar and did like what should be pub grub very meh like we didn't eat very much of it we went out to this restaurant might as well have thrown the food away like it just hasn't been in in most places that we go europe and latin america you can pretty safely go to your local corner place and there's just really good food everywhere it may be repetitive it may be a lot of things but there's often quality food we're used to that in nicaragua like basically we can go anywhere we know what we're gonna get not very much selection not very much variety um only a few things that are vegetarian but the generally the quality is going to be good if a place stays open but here i feel like there's just a load of places that are managing to stay open because people are just i don't know trying different things or just going to their local corner and not looking abroad i don't know um 
And we may just be having bad luck, of course, but in our small survey of places for food food, we're struggling quite hard. But when we're going out for pastries, we're doing a cafe thing, we're doing like, you know, upscale sandwiches, that kind of stuff, it's been really excellent. So excellent food exists, there's no question there. This is a huge city, it's famous for its food, but it's mostly famous for its meats, and it's noticeable that there are lots of vegan places, lots of vegetarian places catering, but if you're just going to regular restaurants, even things that should be you know, eaten by the public, like pizza, it's not that easy to find a really good one so far for us. If we had more time, we would get to know what good places look like. There's a lot of things, but as just walking around on the streets, that has been hitting us pretty hard. After dinner, we were just cold. That was so uninteresting. We came back home, uh, hung out for a little while, worked on some videos, did some like regular stuff. And then some of our neighbors here in the apartment building actually came by at about 11 o'clock at night. They were trying to cook dinner and their power went out. Not like the power in the building, just they blew a fuse in the basement, but the building lost the keys to the electric box so they couldn't do anything to fix it so even though they knew that a circuit breaker had flipped no one could flip it back so they were without power for the rest of the night they were in an airbnb and the airbnb host and the building because we're in a high rise with you know lots of no one had the keys to get to the circuit breaker not an encouraging situation and they're argentinian and they're like yeah this is just how life is in argentina people just can't find the stuff they're supposed to have as if that's like a cultural thing to lose important items so they were without power for the night so they stopped by at 11 o'clock and cooked in our apartment so we hung out for half an hour while they made dinner in our apartment which was cool we got to hang out and make made friends and um that was that was really neat um, so that was uh, our evening. Other than that, just uh, hung out, watched a little bit of YouTube, and uh, went to bed. So that was the 5th of September, 2024.